the scriptures. All scripture is God breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the man of God, or woman of God, or woman of God, will be thoroughly equipped for every good work. Second Timothy three sixteen. Even Leviticus. You don't like Leviticus. I like Leviticus. Don't you like Leviticus? Of course I like Leviticus. Why don't you like Leviticus? Well, it's just hard to understand how useful it can be sometimes. Parts of it, small parts, such as would you mind Leviticus chapter seven? The guilt offering is to be slaughtered in the place where the burnt offering is slaughtered, and its blood is to be sprinkled against the altar on all sides. All its fat shall be offered, the fat tail and the fat that covers the inner parts, both kidneys with the fat on them near the loins, and the covering of the liver, which is to be removed with the kidneys. Isn't that useful information to you? No, how could it be? I got three words. Bar B U. <laughs> Mark Twain once said that it wasn't the parts of the Bible that he didn't understand that bothered him. Rather, it was those parts that he did understand that gave him the most trouble. The Bible was written over a 1600 year span of history. Written over 60 generations by more than 40 different authors who were separated by not only hundreds of years and hundreds of miles, but belonged to the most diverse walks of life. Kings, fishermen, priests, soldiers, they men, herdmen, a physician, a rabbi, and a host of others. The Bible was written on three different continents, Asia, Africa, and Europe. <laughs> the Bible was written in three different languages, Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek. The Bible was written in a great variety of literary forms, history, uh, biography, and poetry, uh, treatises, not personal correspondence, Diaries, is it released? And distinctive type of property. Yes. Okay. What's your question? Okay. Well, actually, I have been listening to what we've been saying. And if it's all true, how can the Bible possibly be reliable? I mean, come on. Written over 1,600 years by more than 40 different authors in three different continents and in three different languages? There had to be some quality control person or project manager overseeing. Not as simple as you look. <laughs> there was a project manager who kept all the authors in check with God. Ooh. Second Peter one just one, please. <clears throat> Above all, you must understand that no prophecy of scriptures came about the prophet's own interpretation. For prophecy never had its origin in the will of man, but men spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit oversaw the entire world. From Genesis to Revelation. Shun! What? It's pronounced Revelation, not Revelations. Oh, what? Dumb. Jesus said, man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. All scripture is God breathed. Jesus also said, heaven and earth will pass away. But my words will never pass away. Matthew 24, 35. There are only two things that are eternal in this world. God's word and people. One should not live without another.